We're here at the Nixon Power Plant, where this year we have two large emission control projects underway. One is to install ultra-low NOx burners. The other one is to install sulfur dioxide emission controls. In the background, there's uh, constructions underway for the sulfur dioxide emission controls. Teams mobilized to the site and they've begun inst installing the foundation work for a large vessel, a spray dryer absorber, that's roughly 60 feet in diameter by about 150 feet tall. That'll be used to remove SO2 from the flue gas before it goes up the chimney. The other project is an ultra low NOx burner project where this fall, they'll be, during an outage, they'll be installing new burners to better combust the, the fuel to reduce the amount of uh, NOx that's emitted from the chimney. We're installing this equipment to reduce sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide emissions from our coal-fired power plants as part of the regional haze rule. This EPA regulation is designed to protect and improve air quality in national parks and wilderness areas. We are working with the Colorado Department of Public Health and Environment to ensure that both of our coal-fired power plants, Nixon and the Martin Drake Power Plant, can remain in compliance with updated air quality limits at the end of 2017. These projects also align with Colorado Springs Utilities' values of enabling us to be good stewards of the resources and having a good impact upon the air quality within the region. Completion of these two projects will allow the unit to continue to operate, providing safe and reliable power for our customers.